Hello everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name is 128 Bytes. Um, today we're going to be talking about a new browser that I found that I think is absolutely fantastic. And I will probably be using this as my main browser from now on, especially considering all of the great privacy features that it has and what it's based on and the developing team and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys about it. It's a new browser called Helium Browser. And uh, so basically this browser is based off of, I believe, um, I believe it's based off of ungoogled Chromium. So um, let me just pull it up here. So yeah, they're using, I believe, ungoogled Chromium as their, uh, it's what they're based off of, which is already a great base in my opinion, because it's basically Chromium without all of the Google tracking and stuff and Google bloat. And uh, they have some great features. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of get into them real quick. The browser comes default installed with uBlock Origin, which is honestly great for a lot of people who want a great ad blocker that track that gets rid of a lot of tracking and as well as you know uh, you know uh, ads on like YouTube and stuff like that. Really great uh, addition. Also, um, it has uh stuff like bang so for instance you could type in like exclamation point w for wikipedia and you could put in like uh you could like go to that oh i just think i did something all right so you could do like w and then you could do like uh baseball uh how do you do this yeah baseball for instance right and you could pull up like a wikipedia page for baseball um, you could do stuff like IMDB men in black or something. And it's going to find men in black. Here we go. You can pull that up. Very cool. Um, you could like do like stuff like a for Amazon. You could search like a uh, USB charger, something like that. And it'll pull up Amazon and, you know, pull up uh, all that stuff. So it has some cool features like that. Also, I want to mention, like, let's say you want to install an extension, right? Like, let's say I want new tab page extension for Chromium. Um, extension Chrome. Just search up Chrome. We'll go here. We'll go add the Chrome. So when you add an extension um, like this to Chrome, it's going to install here. And as you can see, it's not even saying we're using Chrome, which is like ultimate privacy in my opinion. It doesn't even know what browser we're using, but okay, I don't think this is the one that we used to use, but this will this is probably the wrong extension, but that's besides the point. So basically, whenever you install an extension like this, it'll usually like send tracking data to the provider of the extension as well as like a Google Chrome Web Store, like what you know device you're using and stuff and how you installed the extension or whatever, like what browser you're on. And actually none of that stuff actually gets sent to either of those um, because it uses some sort of proxy, I believe. And I'm not 100% sure on this, but that's pretty much what I, from what I understand how it works. But it's pretty cool. And uh, it's pretty nice. Um, another thing I want to bring up is that uh, you might say like, okay, well, it's just basically a fork of Chromium. Why, why not? And it's, you know, it has privacy and stuff. Why don't I just use Brave, right? Like Brave has all that same stuff privacy wise, right? So why don't I just use Brave? And well, the real answer is probably because Brave has all the stuff like this tracking, uh, tr you know, tracking thing. And I removed a lot of it, but it has like, uh, like Leo AI, like I don't want this. I don't want Leo AI in my browser. I don't want whatever this is. Like, what is this? Brave Talk. I don't want that. No one wants that. You know, I don't want all this bloat in my browser, right? If I get a browser, I want it to be like bare bones, just the minimum of what I need. You know, you block origin. That's about it. Nothing else installed. You know, that's like the kind of browser I want. And like, I feel like a lot of people are the same way. They, they, they want a pretty bare bones browser, like just taken down to the bare minimum. And I feel like this browser does that pretty well. Um, if you just visit their website, Helium Browser, um, 
this is their website and honestly i really like the design of it personally i think it's very slick and clean like you can tell up here just like the url bar is like very small and kind of minimal compared to something like brave browser which the url bar is as you can see a little bit bigger so it gives you more space for your actual web pages which is kind of cool um and i'll like visit my website here just to like give you guys an example but that's my cat by the way you could say hi to nova but um yeah, so like this is just an example of like uh, like what rendering a web page in you know uh, Helium looks like. So it's pretty cool. Um, and honestly, bro, I think it's a really really good browser. Um, I think it's probably going to be my main browser from now on. Now there are some caveats, obviously, since it is a very privacy based browser. I don't think it has a built-in password manager, from what I can tell. Um, but that's just mainly because, uh, you know, it's a uh, privacy based and honestly, if it did have a built in password manager into it, then it'd be very easy for someone who's like coding a malware or something to basically like steal all your passwords from your browser. If they coded it specifically for this browser, they could do it very easily and extract all your passwords and search data and everything, which they probably still could, but the passwords they wouldn't be able to get, which is kind of important. And uh, plus, if you're on Linux, you'd probably want to use something like KeyPass XC anyways for this. And obviously, I have my KeyPass XC database here. I'm not going to enter the password. But yeah, it's like, you know, uh, you could, you'd probably just use something like that for your passwords anyways. And that just, you know, I feel like it just kind of makes your OPSEC a little bit better um, whenever you use like an actual like privacy based tool to like store your passwords. that's like not, you know, inside of your browser or whatever, you know? And I feel like that's the best option. Um, I also want to bring up that uh, Helium browser doesn't have Widevine support and it probably won't have Widevine support for a while. So probably ever actually, but you won't, so you won't be able to watch things like Netflix in your browser or like, uh, you know, probably like Twitch or Kick or whatever in your browser, which might be a problem for a lot of users. But if you're like me and you don't really do much of that anyways, and honestly that stuff probably isn't that healthy anyways you should probably what you should do is you should just self-host your own uh media is in my opinion but uh yeah i don't know i feel like uh i feel like this is definitely the way to go for a lot of the privacy community and like the people who are into um cyber like not cyber security but like privacy and open source stuff and also the great thing about helium too is it's completely open source they have their entire github repo right here for the project um but yeah it's uh it's a pretty cool project and i'm definitely you know supporting the developers just by having it you know uh well not just by having it installed but i think it's a great browser and i'm probably going to use it and i'm not sponsored by them in any way by the way i just think it's a really cool browser and uh oh it also has split view i think so if i wanted to do like click here click new split with current tab i could do like wikipedia and like whatever this is and I could like split view, you know, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, overall, I think uh, Helium browser is probably the best new uh, browser out right now for like people who are privacy, you know, minded like me and want, you know, don't want all their, well, I guess not don't want all their data online, but don't want to be tracked whenever they're, you know, searching the web. This is probably the best browser for you, in my opinion. And as long as you don't, like want to use something like brave i'd recommend using this it's a great browser a great alternative to something like brave and it doesn't have all the bloat that brave has and that's just my opinion anyways uh this was kind of a long rant but uh not rant but this was kind of a long video but if you guys did enjoy the video and you guys want to see more content like this uh me going over new things and new tools for linux and software and stuff for linux and you know tutorials and stuff for linux stuff like that feel free to leave a like on the video uh subscribe it helps out the channel a lot and comment down below your thoughts and if you guys didn't enjoy the video obviously you could dislike it too i don't care but uh yeah feel free to leave your thoughts down below and i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here uh thank you guys for watching peace out